Welcome to Tech Buzz with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to find out uh, which versions of a self-hosted uh, integration runtime you have installed on your computer or machine, and uh, how to take a look on the upgrade logs. So you often uh, do auto upgrades and all that, and you would like to see uh, those logs in case of failures or and all that. And uh, this is very important because uh, sometime you want to know, like, hey, what time, uh, uh, what I are uh, self-hosted IR version I started with, when uh, the auto upgrade happened and what is new version, what was last version and all those kind of things. So let me take you here and uh, if I go to my Azure Data Factory in the integration runtimes, I have this self-hosted IR installed and uh, this is uh, 5.10.7949.4, that's the latest version I'm running. But uh, if I'm interested to see what was my old version that I was running, there is no way I can tell from here. So if I go to settings, I don't see anything. If I go to nodes, I don't see anything. If I go to auto upgrade, it does not say, hey, these were the uh, last uh, version and then uh, you upgraded to this one on this date and all that. So that information is not there. There is also no database uh, like SQL Server and all that where I can go and just say like, oh, well, let me check when the upgrade ran or something like that. So there is no table available for this one here. So how I do, how do I check that what was the last version I was using and uh, when uh, that was installed and when uh, this upgrade happened. So to do that, uh, what you need to do, you need to go to the uh, you will be going to the C program data Microsoft data transfer and once you go to that folder you're gonna see three di different folders here you're gonna go to the data management uh, gateway upgrade uh, and that's where you're gonna see two more folders uh. one is called version and that's uh, click there and uh, you're gonna see right there so in my case uh, I started with this version so I in uh, June 24th that was the first time I installed uh, this uh, 5, 5.7 then uh, let me actually do this guy right there and uh, then I had uh, 5.9 you know and uh, then uh, I shifted back to 5.8 then I shifted back to uh, 9, 5.9 and uh, uh, then I just installed uh, 5.10 today so in during my times what I've been doing actually I've been uh, removing upgrading back downgrading and all those kind of things uh, so I've been doing different things uh, now, if I were to go ahead and take a look on the uh, logs, so here are the logs is going to be. So this uh, folder, if you open, this is the uh, entire uh, items here. This is a uh, daemon.log and uh, let's see what other logs you have. If you do asterisk dot log, it will give us all the files which has the logs. So, so I see auto update install. That's uh, one of the type of the logs and uh, I can double click and open. And then from here, I can see the information. So you see that uh, there, there was uh, some information there, uh, the date and all that. Uh, let me go all the way here. And uh, this uh, is a uh, auto update logs here. So I didn't really perform uh, auto updates on these ones. So that's why I do not have a whole lot of logs. But in your case, uh, if you've been doing auto upgrade, you can see all the log information here. So I hope uh, this video will help you uh, to recognize, uh, uh, let's say if you want to revert back to your previous version, uh, somebody in your team has upgraded uh, uh, manually and you are interested like, hey, what was the last version we were running on our machines? So you can go back and uh, take a look. Where you would go? You will go to your C program data, sorry, C Windows program data, Microsoft data transfer data management gateway upgrade and that's where you're going to see version folder and that's where you are going to see what uh, uh, self-hosted IR you had been installing or using and all those kind of things so, so I hope uh, this will help I will put this link in the description so you can always open and uh, take a look thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in next video